starting recording. Again, if you if you want to count, you can play on easy, no bigger. Warthog. Weird thing is, I don't know why, but I can't. I can't hear Something. the game sound. Options. Easy. Exit. Be in battle. Prepare for arena duel. Just dark side. Learning the controls, dark side, please piss off. Hold down to go backwards if you need to back up. You just overheated your gun. And are you using your controller? Yep. Uh, X is handbrake to make for tighter turns. And the alternate shoulder button for the the machine guns is how you shoot your weapons. Why isn't it moving? And L1 and R1 is how you switch between your weapons. What did you say shooting them was? L2. That's how you're supposed to, you know, use them. Yep, there you go. <coughs> Why can't, doesn't you know, it let do me it for yourself. sometimes? Just remember, believe in the me that believes in you. I don't even believe in this game working. Partially because backing up is a challenge and a half. Yeah, I mean, that's the original game. It's a little jank. A little. Yes. Is there a heal on this stage? Nope. If you ever need to, you can pause to see the code to restart, but at least the first stage, you don't need a code. Yeah. I'm gonna need to... <laughs> I'm gonna... You can just, like, uh, restart between every stage, you know? So, like, you, you, well, you essentially treat every stage as if you have three lives. Sometimes the controller isn't responding, and I don't know if that's just the game is that janky, or... I... Is you're using a controller that's plugged in, or are you trying to use it wirelessly? I'm using my wired PlayStation 5 controller on my PlayStation 5. Oh, you're using PS5? I just realized, yeah, that you are playing on PS5. I'm, I'm stupid. I thought you were playing an emulator or something. No. Now you're playing how I was playing. Yeah, that might just be the controller problem, because I never had that problem. That unless you're streaming the game and you didn't download it. Because that also could be since you're streaming to me, that also could hurt it. Whatever, I killed one. Happy. Is there a heal on this stage? Yes, on the map you see those blinking X's? Those are the heals. Oh, see, the first step is reaching it. Yeah, that's generally a uh, good rule of thumb. Okay, that's the heal. Crap. Oh, there he is. 
if you really want to make the game interesting, hold the right side of the D-pad and then push up on the D uh, hold the right side of the uh, touchpad and push up on the D-pad and play that way. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I have a hard enough time with this right now. I don't want to make it harder. Hey, Mr. Groom. Am I frozen? What the fuck? Yes, you got hit with a freeze missile and then you ran over a caltrop. It's good to see that I'm hitting everything. The walls, the traps, everything. Are you streaming the game? <laughs> Maybe. You did not make it easier on yourself. Not a good sign. If it makes you feel better, I platinum this game twice. Why would that make me feel better? Because if I can put myself through that, then you're sure you can beat it once. I think you have too much faith in me. One second, I'll find the code for you. Okay, I don't know passwords. That's just what I'm figuring out for you. Okay, you were on Warehouse District Warfare, so circle, triangle, square, circle, circle. The hell? Circle, triangle, square, circle, circle. And push start. Start. Alright, now just go to exit and click start. Go. There you go. Great. If you're not doing it, play this game with the D-pad, not the analog stick. I it was using... not designed with analog moving it on in mind at all. I am using the D-pad. Okay, good. This game predates the DualShock by a, a bit. You're getting lots of trophies. Yeah, I'm hunting like a boss when it comes to trophies right now, but I am sucking at this game. My puppy is being a problem. I was wondering what that was about. Yeah, it's my puppy being a problem. It's gonna have to go in the crate soon. That's a big old throbbing heel. I guess I had used that word throbbing. Did you have to though? I really did, it was required by law. 
If you didn't know, fire missiles are not particularly like super accurate, but if you're pointing mostly at them, it should be fine. Homing are super accurate, and power have no tracking at all, but do a shit ton of damage. How the fuck is Roadkill almost dead? I hit him with my special quite a few times. Vipers up here. I'm trying to eat quietly, but I am eating beef jerky, which is hard to eat quiet. Yeah, that doesn't sound like something that you could quietly consume. It's the nearest thing I had to me that wasn't kettle chips, which are even louder. Mmm, chips. But I'm hungry as fuck because I haven't eaten today. Fair. <laughs> Do we keep backing up into her? Listen. Technically, there's a fight you would win. That's why uh, the reason works. I chose Warthog player. Just run into her, she'll die. <laughs> Mr. Grimm seems like he would lose in back fights a lot of the time. All the time. He is the weakest character help yeah. Where's the um other my guy lived this whole time with like yeah they don't really fight out. each other not here to deliver how are you gonna start me in front of a rocket look how much damage you just did uh, if you ever want to do more damage hold triangle while moving into them because that activates turbo it's not oh. unlimited you can see your turbo down there like you have five those red words on the on the ground that's turbo pickups, but that increases your ram damage. There are only two vehicles you should watch out for ramming: One is dark side and hammerhead. Everyone else, you will win. You'll take damage too, but you will win that fight. I consider Warthog the beginner character. He's got decent homing on his special, good amount of armor and health, and most characters he can ram and win. And the way it was, and the way to, uh, Team Fortress 2 has a hat economy, this has a ram economy. Yeah, that seemed effective. Dead. Oh, hey, Mr. Grimm. That's a bad decision to try. You just picked up some turbo. So you're about to die. I know, but I lost feeling in my hand. Okay. They're behind me. Mm. Who's gonna be the next victim of your cuddles? Your character's in this tournament to get to hide evidence of aliens. I'm sorry, he was. What? I'm gonna put my life on the line in this tournament of angry, terrible drivers 
that are also very good. And it's just going to be to hide aliens. Yes. Crimson Fury is in it to prove aliens. Mr. Grimm wants to eat Calypso. Hammerhead initially wanted babes, but in the after they filmed it, instead changed the text ending to say they just wanted new treads for their top truck. Pit Viper sent to assassinate Calypso. Thumper wants to make his neighborhood safe. Sweet Tooth wants a paper bag. Excuse me? I'm not explaining it. It's hilarious. They even put him in the show. Harold the Wacky Lunch Sack. Sweet Tooth is insane. It's his best friend. It tracks. Yellow Jacket wants to find his lost son, who's actually Sweet Tooth, who he stole at the end. He accidentally killed his son while looking for him. Spectre wants to be alive again. Roadkill wants to undo a mistake from when he was in the army that got his entire squad killed. Darkseid wants to take uh, Calypso's power away. Outlaw wants to end the tournament. Successfully rammed two people. It's weirdly effective. It is weirdly effective. Which is weird to consider it weird because, I mean, realistically, it makes sense. You're in a Hummer. Of course, a freaking regular car is not going to win that fight. You're about to die, sir. I know. I'm looking for a safe spot, but I'm not making it to one. If you're not feeling 100%, you know you can always uh, try to do this when you're actually feeling 100%. Tell me when you need the code for the level. Level code. X, square, square, circle, triangle. Free for all. Just wait to suburbia. Eight enemies. I've got a hard enough time with the amount that's on the map now. You seem to be bad at steering. Yes. Is this a normal problem you suffer? Yes. So we should never give you a driving license? I legally cannot have a driving license, yes. God damn you, what the hell did you do to Crimson Fury? You tapped him. I guess Lamborghini V uh, Hummer has been uh, explored thoroughly. Yes.
That blue thing is a guy, right? Yep, that's outlaw. Any of the colored dots are an enemy. The blinking X's are health. The arrows point towards enemies that are off your radar. And obviously the little dot thing in the middle is you. Jesus Christ, they just teamed up on me. Yeah, Thumper's fire is no joke. Kettle chips are the best chips. Kettle chips are very good. Why does it feel like the NPCs only attack me? That's because they do only attack you. If they hit each other, it's incidental. That's one of the biggest complaints that the Twist Mill series has always had. Is aside from in 3 and 4, they will only attack you. Oh, poor Mr. Griff. You literally sent him flying. Poor Mr. You. My name's not spelled two M's. But it could be. What's your favorite flavor of kettle chip? Uh, I honestly don't know. It's been a really long time since I've had kettle chips. I mean, it's barbecue. Um, Which is ironic, because I hate barbecue sauce. I don't hate barbecue sauce, but certain spices, were, uh, like certain levels of it, or too much for my insides. What's too much for my insides, sadly, I've learned, is uh, milk. I have become lactose intolerant with age. Oh, age made you lactose retarded. That sucks. Means ice cream is a problem now. Yes, I still sometimes eat it and make myself suffer. Because, you know, hate myself, so sometimes I've got to punish myself. It's like sometimes you have to go to Taco Bell just to prove to your body that you're the master of it and no one else is. Although I'm not sure if they have Taco Bells in uh, my hat. We do have Taco Bell up here. What about Del Taco? I don't think we have Del Taco. I don't know what that is. Del Taco and Taco Bell is what Burger King is to McDonald's. The same thing, but slightly shittier? Yes. You keep recording. I need to go wash this uh, barbecue dust off my uh, fingers real fast.
There we go. Beat it. Good job, sir. I recommend uh, backing out real quick and, and putting a level code to get there. <laughs> because uh, you have no lives. Yeah. And I somehow doubt you're going to beat that on one life. So if you just pause nope. and go back to the menu, I can... I'm not going to beat it in one life, but I am going to see what I can do. Which isn't much, considering that I've already got fucked. Side's almost dead. Yellow jacket's almost dead. Yellow jacket is almost dead. Now Go heal, jacket, sir. It's, it's not far from you. The question is, where is not far from me? To your left. Dark side is dead, apparently. He must have bumped into something and gotten killed. Oh shit, sweet dude. Go to the other side, there's two heels over there. Oh shit, window. Oh god, ice rink. Oh, why were you just sitting there? I don't know. Was this a speed trap? I was like, hey, in one life you've killed uh, half the enemy so far. Ow. That's about to end, though. Yeah. Keep out of the... You're halfway through the game. Yeah, I'm doing progress. X triangle square, circle square. Triangle, square, square? Yep. And square, what? circle, square. X, triangle, circle, square, square. Square, circle, square. Oh. There you go. River Park Rumble. Meet your opponents. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Grimm again. Always known as someone you can bully. Unless I run face first into a wall. Right, with you in solidarity, I'm doing it too. You're going through Twisted Metal? Same character, same level. But you're better at it. <laughs> Only by a bit. I would enough. not declare myself good at. Uh, I would not declare myself good at the original for small games. Where the hell 
Bill's yellow jacket because he's almost dead. <coughs> So what are you calling this? The skill suffers? Yes, sir. You see no enjoyment in Twisted Metal? Not this one. But it is a classic. That's nice, dear. What is a classic video game that you love? Uh, I love Crash. I love the all of them. The second and third Even ones one? mostly. Mainly the second and third ones. Same with which Spyro. of the two is your favorite? Mm, I'd say Warped. It is heavily contested amongst the Crash fan, fan base of whether or not 2 or 3 is better. I like 3 more. Generally because a lot of people love 3, but they hate all the extra stuff. The fluff. Which I can agree on a certain parts, because like, I don't play Crash to race motorcycles. If you want to race motorcycles, there are better motorcycle racing games. How about Wrath of Cortex? Was that the PS2 one? Yeah, the original PS2 one. Or Crash Wrath of the Loading Screens. I actually kind of like that one. I have nostalgia for it, but I know it's bad. It's so slow, and the tippy-toe power-up can go burn in hell. I hate that that was power-up. I just noticed you haven't died yet. Working on that. Yes, but I've actually got half of them dead again on one live show, so you know, you're probably improving. Gotta love the phases of having a pet. Of like, can you hear something in a distance? Like, was that them fucking with something? Or am I just hearing stuff? Oh, I'm Fall usually... by the, what are you chewing on? Yep, that's where I'm at with Blake right now. The what are you chewing on stage of his life. What random crap have you pulled from his mouth? The wall. Ex excuse you? The wall? I will dog. repeat myself. Excuse you? I will repeat myself. He's been eating the wall. How the fuck does a dog eat the wall? He's a... He's a big dog. <laughs> That's not a good enough explanation. <laughs> he just... He turns his head so that it's sideways. And he just... Scrub a grub takes a bite out of crime. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just what what dog do. That's not what most dogs do, though. No, most dogs will chew on a shoe. I've had quite a few, and I've never had them eat my wall. Shows you how difficult. You did not know, by the way, or notice. Killing enemies uh, causes the uh, health base to reactivate. Bitchin'. I, I cannot remember if there's a cap or not, 
but they do reactivate per kills generally. So if you use them all in between a kill and then come back to kill someone, they sh uh, after a bit they should recharge. So yeah, don't be afraid to use healing. Because also if you die when you respawn, the health base recharge. This is just showing me why also, I don't have a license. Also, in case uh, it helps at all, when you're on straightaways, unless you're making a sharp turn, which in case you should hold down X and then hold a direction, uh, just tap left or right. Don't uh, hold it. I recommend again backing out and then restarting unless you uh, really want to test yourself. <laughs> My arms are like gum. Chewed gum. Yeah, if you need to take a break, you can just pause it and pause your video and then you can take a short break if you got to for your health. I must do this. I can't buy a skirt ritual right away, so you, I wasn't expecting you to rush it because I'm all you know, I want 17 bucks right now. I know. I was saying next paycheck I would do it. And I will keep my word, obviously. If you do do it, I will buy it. I'm, I'm not going to be a dick. I made a verbal contract that you recorded, so I have to do it anyway. Do you like that number of eight enemies? No, not really. Especially because it hasn't gone down yet. Vector's pretty hurt. Sweet Tooth is also so pretty hurt and stuck inside of me. <sighs> Be Tato -be. X square triangle triangle triangle. Is this the second last stage? Yep. You're over halfway through the game. This is also, in my opinion, the hardest stage. I can understand why. For you, though, the hardest stage may actually end up being rooftops. Is Not just because of the fact the that boss, it has many. Or is it just the boss? It's you kill three enemies and then fight the boss. Great. There is technically a level code to get skip straight to minion, but this game is a dick about it. And um, the level code for that just spawns minion and the three enemies all at the same time. Yeah, that is pretty dicky. So if you beat the three enemies on one life and, uh, you know, get to minion, I recommend creating a save state on your PlayStation for that. How do I do that? Because there, is, uh, you just push the options button. You also could change how the visuals look if you want to do it that way. I have some settings I prefer, I think, to make the game look a little crisper. I found Crimson Fury and just spun out on him. I need to find Crimson Fury well. is one of the weakest cities. I always remember again, it says glowy X's on the map. I just need to be able to get to one. 
preferably without dying. Nope. I recommend as soon as you hit half health to go find a heal. Because it, sh it won't quite heal you to full, but there's no point not topping off, keeping yourself out of death range. Also, whatever you do, do not try to uh, bump fight a bumper car as a hammerhead. He will wreck you. Not so much for better. I literally have never beaten the stage without at least dying once. That makes me feel a little better. Eight enemies is just too much. I view this game as your psychopath if you seriously try to treat it as beat the game in three lives. You play the game way too much also, probably. I love this game. First game ever played. That I still don't. I still will not not pretend that it's not unforgiving. I believe it's manageable, but that does not make it not unforgiving. And I know why they did it. It's because this is back in the days of uh, when you buy a game, it needs to last you quite a while. Oh, this is still back in the day when they treated a lot of home console games like arcade games. Oh God, could you imagine how unforgiving this game would be if it was an arcade game? They'd have so much more that they could up the ante. It wants your quarters, sir. Wants all of your quarters. Anytime someone gets close to me, if you want a little recommendation, hold square X and then left to right the D-pad and fucking spin out on them. You just keep thwacking them. I do. You know, like if they're gonna get in your, them. if they're gonna get in your personal space, you may as well punish it. Where the hell did he go? There he is. He appears to be dead. Dark Souls almost did do it for you. <laughs> I see your health nearby. You should go for it. Uh. I think it was that way. Cause when I saw it blinking. Yep, it is. Although you just decided to rub up on a hammer hit. You have one life to kill three more enemies. You got this. Considering that I was able to kill... Yeah, if you need to, create a safe state real quick. If you need to, like, again, like, I don't care if you use one every once in a while. It's the options button. And it's load and save. Yep. No, 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 no. Hold the right side of the D-pad and push down on the D-pad, uh, right side of the touchpad and push down the D-pad. You can do it again to zoom out a little more if you want more view. I do like having a little bit more view in this game. It does seem to For help. me, it for some reason fucks with me. But other than one life difference, we're at the same point. I haven't really been killing them any faster. I play these games as guerrilla warfare style of hit and run. I'll stock up on weapons, then pick someone, and try to annihilate them. Pick a target, then F that person in particular.
two enemies left. You're now ahead of me in kills. Yeah, if you got to, just tap left and right to make small adjustments. I just like how ma fucking massive this map is, though. No other weapons in your bay in your weapon bay. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, you oil slick. Again, don't don't rub on him. He will win. If you go through that door that you passed up, there's a health over there. There's the health. Hammerhead is the one guy especially. Just try to poke at him and keep away. You're more mobile than he is. Oh shit, there's another guy alive too. Yes, but he's probably easier than fucking Hammerhead. There's a health. Looks like the last guy I think is Mr. Grim. So if you heal up and then just run into him, you should kill. Yep. As long as you're full health, you could probably spin out on him and kill him. Oh god, he hit you with his special. Go heal. There's a heal over there. I'm so close. There's another heal too if you want to top off. Don't stay right in front of him. That's his special as a, as a skill shot, but it's the strongest weapon in the game. Because he has the weakest defense in the game? Yep. You win. Square, triangle X, circle X. You know, if you uh, get past the first three enemies and don't, and are full, you know, like lives, I recommend a save state. That way, you got three lives. It's always return back to keep fighting minion. Only other thing to note is minion is the most durable enemy in the game, so you can't really ram into him and win. Also, considering he also does have Thumper and Hammerhead and Mr. Grimm special all at once, so it will utterly fucking wreck you. The big pyramid in the middle, you have to shoot and break to get access to the health. Oh shit! Nope, that's death. Free falling. Yeah, that's a trophy. <laughs> Yeah. 
you're so close, sir. What was the password? Square triangle. X circle X. There's that glass pyramid up there. You gotta break that to heal. There's also a bunch of weapons down there as well. Okay, one of your enemies drove off a cliff. One enemy left. And if you can, if you want to make this easy, go break that uh, pyramid up there, and I'll tell you what you can do. Okay. You have to go up there and then up that other ramp. I recommend just using machine guns and whatever missiles you got. Are you even hitting it? Yeah, it, it has a lot of health. Again, you can probably use yep. That was not what I was anticipating to happen. Oh, hey. There you go. Drop down there, and there are... <coughs> there's the health down there, which you should use. Hello. Hello. It doesn't count as an opening. You're too close to the side. Go more towards the middle. There you go. There's health, and three of those trees have good weapons in them. One of them's empty, but there's health down the side. You can just bump into them as well. But I recommend healing. No. At least you don't have to reopen that thing. Alright, if you want the secret to sauce to killing those enemies real easy. Drop down there. Go through that window. Uh, that wall hole right there. Turbo through it. To the other side. So, yep. Yeah. Gotta make it a clear shot. You could go up that ramp. Turn all to the round. Yep. To the right one. All right, turbo over the direction he like to, to that building of back away. No, not that way. To your right, turbo over there. You know, make a jill. You'll jump to the other side. Now turn around, and if he, when he comes to make the jump himself, shoot him with with your special. It should make him fall to his death. He should eventually try to go over, and if you hit him mid-air, he will instantly drop to his death. Or he could just drop oh, to his death. No, that technically you nicked him with one of the bullets, which is what caused him to fall. For some reason, that happens every time. I recommend making a safe state. Oh, wow. There you go. Now, you could repeatedly attempt to do that to Minion, which he'll take small amounts of damage every time he falls. Or you can actually try to fight him, you know. Oh, I see him down there. He's slowly making his way up. His vehicle's not very mobile. It is a tank. Go heal. 
and the weapon should have respawned too. And then you can just do the same loop again. The other spot to do is to wait at the top of that first ramp on the other building and aim towards it and he will slowly come up and essentially line himself up with all your shots. Those two should have weapons in them. I recommend moving! Or you can just call it, this, call it on this life and try to unload all your weapons into them. If you wait at the top of that, that fucking uh, ramp is where he usually comes to. Um, Don't worry about it. He just slid to the side. He literally slid to the... Where the hell did he... Oh, he teleported. Um, yeah, go, turn around, and go up that ramp. And then, get when you're at the top of it, get slightly behind it and aim at it, and he will slowly drive himself up the ramp to look at you. To your left. To your left. Back up. To your left. To your left. Aim to your left more. No, aim, no, no, you see, so you're aiming at him. You want to be to the left. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't want to be right there. Hey, right, you can wait around there, or you can wait around this area and aim at it. Oh, shit. Yep. I bumped into something. Oh, hey, another car. Yeah, I, I wonder what happened. I know it was when you were fighting Spectre at the start, one of them just fell their death. You never even fought him. Now the health is recharged, so you can essentially just try to tank him and do a bunch of damage and then go back in there. Where the fuck is he? Jeez. Go heal! You're so close. It's so far. Shit. Load the save state. I've almost got it, and I don't feel like stopping and then trying again later. Where is he? I don't know, he was down here. There he is. Oh, there he is. Go heal. If you go heal him, do like one more round of that, you'll kill him. Just don't fall to your death.
Then there should be two more sets of missiles right there. Yep. I reckon we go on the other side because he's probably about to drop down on you. And now we wait for him. There you go. I get a game. Welcome to the. See, it wasn't mighty... so bad, was it? Yeah, no, that was terrible. Hope everybody enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one.